welcome to episode 25 of Mind Control! Coming up on today's show, Rick Pudo, P, with a P, Obama wants to watch you through your TV until he declares martial law and stuff. Now, here are your hosts, the greatest Eddie and the greatest ever, Jerry Maya. So that was, uh... Episode 25 of Mind Control. Here we go. Eddie. Sir? My goodness. My goodness. Here we are. Episode 25. 55 million views in. I'm sorry. 55,000 views in. Wow. That's a lot of views, Jer. Uh, 65 subscribers. But, there, but, but there's some bad news, Jer. Okay. Apparently, whenever you're using your computer to watch this video, Obama is also spying on you while mm. you're watching it. Is the computer or the TV? Or every, just gadgets every in gadget. general? They, they, they said washer and dryers, uh, your microwave, everything that's going to be equipped with this new smart technology is going to have the capability to monitor everything that goes on in your house. That's the future of technology. I think that's the point of future technology at this point. It's like right. technology was going along and everybody thought it was going great for people. We were all inventing things we that we needed. We were connecting to each other, learning about other people's lives. And, and then know. that goddamn Obama came swooping in and said, we're going we're gonna to tilt this towards evil intentions. So the first clue of, of that happening was whenever General Petraeus took over the CIA, became the head of the CIA. You knew we were in store for some bad stuff as soon as that happened. As soon as I hear about anybody becoming the new head of the CIA, yeah, I see bad thing. things coming. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. see anything good coming out of the CIA. I said we abolish and smash into splinters like JFK said, but we haven't done it yet. No. But yeah, Petraeus said that this new technology is going to transform. Uh, he said it, it, it's transformational. He says it, it, it's an overused word, but I do believe it properly applies to these technologies. Uh -huh. Of course it does. He says uh, they're going to use radio frequency identification, sensor networks, tiny embedded servers, and energy harvesters in order to create this new spy network. So all this new technology that sounded really awesome, like you were saying at first, is going to be used against us. Uh, did you ever watch that movie, Dark Knight Returns? What, what, what are you doing over there, Jay? I'm harvesting energy. Oh, you're, you're harvesting energy? Um... It, it, it harvests energy through wind, kinetic, uh, solar. So they're spying on me through the sun and the wind. Yeah, they're using they're using God's God's creations against us. Wow. Who, who would have ever thought? Solar pets, solar power, thermal energy, wind energy, and kinetic energy. Well, Are, yeah. What about the Batman Returns? What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thrown off with your uh, your By uh, harvesting of yes, energy. Yes. Um, yeah, so, so you, you know how Batman set up that, that spy network using radio frequencies to see where everybody was and listening on everything? You remember that? So this is all Batman's fault. Yeah, I, I, I think Christian Nolan was probably, you know, using technology to, to you that know... asshole. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so this OMAC system is definitely, you know, being, being worked on right now. They're creating it through apps, through mobile devices, through smart technology. Uh... Yeah, you know, one of the things you haven't mentioned that, I, that I've heard about <laughs> is that they're supposed to be able to send frequencies and, I don't know that it's necessarily spying, but it's like able to send you messages and just alter your, your brain waves through this fluorescent lighting. Wow, yeah. You know, all this go green and, you know, use the fluorescent light tubes and this and that. Like, they're able to, like, emit this energy as, that messes as, with your brain waves and makes you yeah it makes yeah, you yeah. docile right. or maybe it sends you messages maybe it, you know where you think you're thinking something but it's really implanted in you. you never know like i know this sounds crazy yeah. but we're heading into fucking yeah. 2012 full force man we're we're here man the world is ready to end yeah yeah as, so, we'll, so, as we'll discuss later in the episode so these are rfid chips use radio frequency uh ele electromagnetic fields to transfer data from a tag attached to an object for the purpose of automatic identification and tracking. Uh -huh. So like your cell phone is going to, you know, let, you know. Uh, uh, your driver's license already has one, doesn't it? Has an RFID chip I in it? I believe all wow. driver's license has an RFID chip. So that's used to track everybody to know where they are. I might be throwing that out, pulling that out of my ass, but I yeah. believe that, I believe that. Well, it, 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 in the next few years, it's going to be watchers and dryers. Yeah. yeah, like every piece of technology, uh, like they said, even your, your, your digital alarm clock is going to be equipped with this technology. Um, 
the energy harvesters are really disturbing though, like uh, that it can use all these types of, uh, of uh, energy sources to keep these things going even when it's not plugged in. So like your, oh, yeah. your laptop, yeah. you know, they, they, it uses the thermal energy and the kinetic energy to stay on 24-7 and to monitor. Yeah, not even to just to stay on for you, to stay on right. just to monitor. You right. think you turn it off and they're fucking listening. Nope, to you. nope. Listen, I, I will go on record right now, as paranoid as this makes me sound, I had a, I've had conversations about things in front of, around my computers, yeah. where the next day all of a sudden there's an ad for that thing. I talked to my wife about Taco Cabana one day. We need to go get that Taco, Taco Cabana. That Taco Cabana rice. Yeah. The next day, there's an ad on, next to my Facebook. You know, Taco Cabana, this and that. But yeah. Facebook's great, right? And Facebook's I've the never best. seen a fucking ad for Taco Cabana in my life until the day after I was talking about it. There's there's so many examples. I just won't even name for you now, but right. there have been a few where I'm talking about something. All of a sudden, it becomes an ad on one of my web pages. It, it, and aren't you notorious for covering up your webcam on your camera? I get made fun of for that. Right. But listen, listen, there, Co covering your webcam isn't even enough. Right. There, there, there's been stories of, you know, kids getting webcams from school and taking it home and then having the webcam watch them mm -hmm. while they're, they're at home. So, you know, the, the, the government has already, you know, been caught spying through these technologies. Uh, they say that this technology is going to map, uh, map Mapped by computers as precisely as Google Maps charts the physical land. So, so, so they're saying this technology is going to give uh, the CIA the ability to see what's going on, like Google Maps does. Yeah. So, but but in real time, it's going to give information on everything that's going on. Uh, you know, whenever your house the temperature goes up by four degrees, they're going to be aware of that. Whenever. And now you say it's no big deal, but it's all about the. That power falling into the wrong hands and like and it's already fall the, the yeah. wrong hands are creating that's what I'm saying it's not even like it's falling into the right. wrong hands like all the wrong hands are ushering it right. in exactly. for you so yeah. there's yeah. It, you should have nothing but panic and fear about this but not in the Alex Jones sense of it happening tomorrow like right. but it is it's happening and and uh, there's really nothing we're gonna be able to do about it I, I really fear we're all just a couple years away from and, 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 these and, good times being crashing down to the earth. You won't be able to not have a, a washer and dryer with a smart technology in it or a TV without this technology. The technology is going to be everywhere. Uh, I mean, you can hold on and hold your washer and dryer until they die out, but they're right. going to die out and you're going to have to buy a new one. Exactly. With RFID chip in it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they also have tiny embedded networks. Luckily, we're going to die out too. Yeah, 2012 is probably going to be it for everybody, so this isn't really going to come to fruition. This is all just kind of uh, speculation unnecessarily. Um, let's say, let's let me just ask you this: huh? If it does come down to this, where you're being spied on at all times, and the government just has to know everything you're up to, right. and you're being persecuted, suicide. How far away from it are you? Uh, I think as long as you're alive, you know, there's always a chance of things changing. What if you had the option of being kidnapped, bag over your head, fingernails being pulled out, like hey. James Bond, the bottom of the chair being cut out, and he's right. whipping right. your nuts? Hey, I'm. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Whatever they have to offer, I'm ready. I'm ready mm -hmm. for it. Uh, I, I saw some videos though of the the, the the captured rebels in Syria being tortured with you know uh, supposedly tortured with these you know jumper cables mm. and um, you know having bones broken, just laying there and breaking their bones, twisting their foot and telling. I tell you what, one of my yeah. biggest fears in this world is torture. I yeah. hate to even put that out there because now that I put it out there, the CIA is going to make it happen. Uh -huh. Are you going to see torture clips on your uh, Facebook no, page? No, I'm saying it's going to happen to me. They're going to go, ah, oh, <laughs> this guy doesn't like torture. I thought this whole time he was this real tough, tough, brave motherfucker, but uh -huh, uh -huh. seriously. You, you have a couple of tattoos, so obviously you're not too adverse to pain, right? Oh, but I fear torture, man. I don't, I, that's why I bite my nails. I don't ever want to be sitting somewhere where somebody could take some fucking pliers <laughs> and pull my nails off. Hey, it's coming. Like, uh... But what what else do we have to to look forward to besides that? You know, that's true. That it's, it's pretty much we're we're in a tough spot, and that's what we have to look forward to. That's pretty true. much concretely, there's no there's no way around it. So just uh, just, just be happy to look forward to it. Yeah. Get over it and die. Yep. Yeah.